Hey guys, welcome back. So got a get ready with me video for y'all today and it's on this look right here. So yeah, I just kind of like playing around with some different makeup products. Some of them are newer to me. Some of them are newer in general. Some of them are older favorites that have just been around for a while, but I like. And as far as like what the look is, it's kind of like a warm halo sort of an eye, a little bit dramatic, but fun. I think it's fun. So if you want to get ready with me, then just stay tuned. So first I'm going to start with my Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior. I have really been liking this. It's just good stuff. It really works well under makeup. It just seems like good stuff. Now I'm going to use some of my Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Blemishless and just apply that mainly in my T-zone, but then kind of like, you know, spread it out what's left. foundation today I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick Radiant Makeup. This is what it looks like and I wear it in 2C3 Fresco. So you have to kind of like you know turn the little dial and it comes out the end which is sort of weird. I don't really like the packaging on it but I do really like this foundation. It's like a I don't know dewier more natural version of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's just not as like super duper matte. So for my now more combo, sometimes even normal skin, I like this almost better. Well, I can't say that. I don't like it better, but I really do like it. I still like the original more, but I like this one a lot. Now I'm gonna apply some eyeshadow primer. Today I'm using my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna use my NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in Blonde. And then I've been using this. I, this isn't my favorite, but I'm just trying to use it up. This is the BH Cosmetics HD Brow Pencil, and this is in Blonde. Chester is in here and he's messing with something right now. He's just very curious today. Do y'all notice that with your cats? Like some days, or even your dogs too, I don't know if they do this also, but some days he just seems like chill, like he's not really messing with anything, and then other days it's like he is really wanting to explore and mess with everything. What are you doing? He's just making the rounds. First off, I want to put something kind of soft in my crease, so I'm just going to use my bronzer. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and I'm just going to apply a little bit of that into my crease and transition area. Now I want to use my Juvia's Place Nubian 2, so I'm going to get that palette and get some of Morocco. On, I'm using a Cosette D220 brush, and I'm just going to tap my brush off and apply that into my crease and transition area. Kind of same place, but I just really wanted like something to kind of like help diffuse this color. So that's why I started with my bronzer. To be honest, I really don't know what I'm doing with my look today, but this is, I have a general idea of what I want to try, but you know, I don't know how it's going to go. So we will see together. Okay, so I want to do a halo eye, so I'm going to get some of Jezebel on a pencil brush. And I'm going to apply that into my outer corner and into my inner corner. And kind of blend that into my crease, but not on my lid. I'm going to leave my lid open for that halo eye look. I want to deepen up the outer corner just a little bit, so I'm going to get some of Layla on that same brush. And you can do this on your inner corner too, but I really just want to... I like my outer corner still slightly darker than my inner corner, so even when I do a halo eye, I like it to be just a little bit darker out there. But I think it's just because mainly my eye shape. I think that's just more flattering on my eye shape. Okay, 
I'm looking here and I want to bring this color up into my crease just a little bit. So I'm going to get my bronzer again and do a little bit of bronze, not bronzing, a little bit of blending and blend it up a little bit into my crease, just a little bit more. I don't even know if this is obvious, but I feel like it, it's just a tiny little difference. Now for the very center of my lid, I'm going to get some of Nairobi and I'm actually just going to get it on my finger and dot that on the middle part of my lid. And I'm going to use my, um, ooh, I like that. I'm going to use my, uh, not my finger. I'm going to dab it on there with my finger, but then I'm going to use my Real Techniques um, detailer brush to do some blending just to blend it into those other colors in the inner corner and the outer corner. that so I want to add just a little bit more of a pop like right in the middle of my lid so I'm gonna get some of Zuri on that detailer brush and I'm going to get some Mac fix plus on my brush just to kind of intensify it and I'm gonna dab this right in the very center just kind of layering things I'm gonna add a little bit of that gold back on the sides of that. Okay, like I said, we are just kind of doing this together. I liked it better with the gold, so I'm just gonna top over that with more of the gold. That's kind of how it goes with makeup, you know? You just experiment, and if you don't like it, you just go over it. It's like painting. You really can, like, fix anything. And if all else fails, you can take it off and start over. I'm gonna take my pencil brush and do just a little bit of blending. Anywhere that I feel like I need to kind of soften the lines and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and then apply my winged liner. I'm going to use the Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner today. Sometimes I find if I do this first, this messes it up. So I like to do this first and then this. lower lash line I'm gonna use this ColourPop liner this is in show me and I'm gonna go over that with a little bit of Nefertiti in the inner part and then the outer part I think I'm gonna use some of ya and the brush I'm using is the Beauty Junkies Pro Flat Definer brush For mascara today, I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics Superhero, and then for my lower lash line, I'm going to use my Pixi Lower Lash Mascara. Now for concealer, I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I wear it in vanilla, and I'm going to blend that in with my Delium Tools 788 brush, and then over that, I'm going to dab some of this on my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer that looks real dirty and disgusting in NW20. And I just apply this with my fingers. I'm just using what's left on my brush to do a little bit of extra dabbing on my tiny zits on my forehead that I don't know what they are about. Why are you there? Why are you there? I don't know if y'all can see them. The lights really do kind of like blur things out. I don't use filters or anything. Um, so sometimes the lights just blur it out, but there's definitely some things happening there. And now I'm going to set my T-zone with my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Rose Petal. And I'm just using an e.l.f. blush brush for this. I absolutely love the Ben Nye powders. I feel like they just don't get nearly as much attention as they deserve because 
they're just awesome. Like they blend everything out. They wear so well. They work for a bunch of different skin types. This is just like a go-to for me. Love them. Then I'm going to set the outsides of my face with my Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten in Fair. And I'm just using my Real Techniques blush brush for this. I'm also going to apply a little bit of this powder as my brow bone highlight on my eyeballs because I forgot a brow bone highlight. Now I'm gonna bronze up my face and do a little bit of contouring with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm using my Delium Tools 945 and my Delium Tools 992. I just like this for my neck. I'm gonna use this for the rest of my face. Why is this so funny looking to me? This brush. <laughs> And then I wanted to try this blush today. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Blush, and this is in Vintage Rouge. This is one of the newer shades. It's kind of like a peachy color. And I'm just using my MAC Angle something or other brush. It doesn't have a name on it anymore because it's so old. That is pretty, and it blended really well. I like that a lot. I'm making a mess. Okay, now on to highlighter. <laughs> Today I'm going to use my Benefit Dandelion Twinkle and I'm going to apply it with my Delium Tools 787 brush. This is really cute, but it's kind of more on the subtle side. Well, maybe not with this brush. Oh my gosh, I've used this several times and I thought it was more subtle. But with this brush, maybe like something with a little bit more of like grit and texture to it like kind of helps get more of it on there because that's really pretty. I like that a lot. I'm going to dab just a little bit of that on the inner corners of my eyes. For lips, you can obviously do whatever you want, but I was thinking about either a nude or a berry or like a dark wine sort of a shade, but I kind of ended up thinking I'm going to do like a warmer peachy nude. So this is the combo that I'm going to use. I'm going to use the um, Makeup Geek Plush Cream in Jet Setter and the Plush Matte in Beach Bunny. I like the combo of these. If there is just Jet Setter by itself. I think that would be pretty even by itself, but I'm going to add just a little bit of Beach Bunny because that makes it just a little bit warmer. Alright guys, so that wraps up this Get Ready With Me. So I hope that y'all really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you've been grabbing for recently. Like what makeup products are you loving playing with right now? I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.